20 years ago, this was my first attempt to create a three-dimensional model of the Tree of Life. Hi, I'm Steve Sersonsky. The Tree of Life is a skeletal structure describing the relationship between man and God. The, knowns as, the nodes are known as Sifaro, and with exactly 22 pathways between the Sifaro. Each Sifaroth is an attribute of God, for example, God the Merciful, God of Judgment, the Redeemer, the All-Knowing, the Wise, the Omnipotent, the Beautiful, the God of Victory, etc. Because the pathways only exist between certain Sifaroth, this gives clues to the structure. The four worlds, Atsilut, Birya, Yetzira, and Asiya, are said to exist simultaneously. Normally, they're shown above each other, but I hypothesized that they would be like parallel universes, touching at like Sifaroth. So each one of these different planes is a different universe, a different world. Combining this rule with as below, so above, the possibilities reduce significantly. You can see here, you see Malkut Yasod. You see Hod Netzach Tiferet Gavura Chesed Dat Bina Chachma and of course Keter at the top. Note that Yasod, known sometimes as the foundation, actually is the base of the model. Malkut, which is where our reality, our firmament exists, is off to the side of the tree, furthest from the holy central column. These models are reconstructions of the previous model using a remarkable tool called Zome. You look here, this is the back, and if you're looking at the model, and you can see the same Sifarot that I showed you earlier. This is just one of the worlds. You combine together, you would have one here, one here, and one here. The, my assumption is that the pathways could form between Sifarot, then they would form. So therefore, these are very much fixed in space. They can, anywhere they could exist, I assume they would. On the other hand, if they have no possible way of connecting, then that was a potential solution to the problem. But it turns out there are only three solutions. This being one, and very, very much similar to the one you've seen before. Kind of looks like a baby, or a baby cradle, doesn't it? The the second one possibility is this one. You can see, actually, you should look at it from the back. If you allow me, put there at the top. Malkuth now is at the bottom rather than hanging off to the side. Looking at this one again, you see how Malkuth is out here. And the last one, which is looks like the simplest, although similar in a lot of ways, is this one here. And again, you'd be looking at it from the back. And you'll notice one interesting fact is that the, the arm of, of wisdom and loving kindness is longer than ju the judgmental column. And it's close, judgment is closer to the holy center. As God said to, to Jonah, my, you know my loving kindness is greater than my judgment. And when you combine them to form a three-dimensional connecting plane, this is what you get. These models 
are reconstructions of the previous model. Notice again, you have the foundation here in the Sod. But now Makut is off to the side on the same plane. I've, I've enhanced this model a little bit, showing how it can be expanded above and below. This was the most difficult one to achieve. The zone tools, which is what these are made out of, are incredible tools that force distances and angles to conform to nature's divine proportions. My assumption, of course, was that if a pathway could form between Sifaroth, that it would form in nature. So therefore, the models have no possible way to form connections between the Sifaroth except for the 22 pathways in each world. Once each once we add divine proportions restrictions with a four parallel world theory, as below as and so so as above and the restrictions of the pathways, it turns out that there are only those three solutions. This one, which is a enhancement of this form here. into the four different worlds, you can see this has a very biological feel to it. This is, this is my, my simplest tree right here. And you, you've seen this, I showed it to you earlier. When we expand this, into the four worlds, it turns out that this can form a much more complex lattice, which looks like this. So if you allow me to turn this for you. You can see how it repeats itself both up and down and below. Very interesting. Uh, item here is if you look at this side, if I can look, you see how this plane here is. If you look at it straight on, it looks just like a representation of the tree of life in two dimensions. This actually occurs on two different planes. You see it reoccurring again, right? Can you see this? So there you go. Jacob's Ladder should probably be translated Jacob's Lattice, if you see it from my last representation. Thank you.